earth, the oldest and still the most common construction material of humankind. Earth is composed of gravel, sand and clay in various proportion according to the extraction site. Earth can be transformed into building materials in many different ways. Two of the main families of earth building techniques are monolithic wall and brick walls. Let's have a look at monolithic building technologies and start with rammed earth. Rammed earth needs little processing of the raw material from a soil that naturally contains grains with a wide range of size. Only the biggest stones have to be removed. For ramming the earth is used with a low water content. It is called humid. This humid earth is poured into a formwork, either manually or mechanically, and evenly distributed in a layer of 10 to 15 centimeters. Then, this layer is compressed with a manual or pneumatic rammer. The formwork may be made of simple wood planks or of usual panels used for concrete of other wooden panels. Lateral forces generated by the ramming process, the panels and planks have to be very resistant and tightly fixed. After one lift made of successive rammed layers, the form can be immediately removed and fixed higher for the next lift. Decorative effects can be obtained by adding other colors at the external border of a layer. Traditionally lime mortar, but we may also use earth if a different color. Rammed earth is widely spread on all the continents. Cultures have developed rammed earth architecture of an infinite range of form, size, function. The expressive surface of rammed earth inspires numerous contemporary architects all over the world. Now, let us move to a second major, but less known monolithic building technique. A morphology of walls very similar to rammed earth is obtained with a very different building technique, cob. For cob, the raw material usually contains no stones and little or no gravel. Fiber, normally straw, is added to this fine earth and then mixed with water to obtain a mix that can be sculptured or modeled. This state of humidity is called plastic. To mix the earth, the water and the straw, there are several possibilities of mechanization. The mix is laid in small packages to make a lift of approximately 60 centimeters high. After one or two days drying, a flat and plumb vertical wall surface is created by cutting or beating. A lift has to dry during two or three weeks, according to the weather to allow this part of the wall to bear the load of the next lift. The cop technique allows a lot of freedom concerning the form of the built element. Modeling walls by hand is a widespread form of traditional earth construction in African countries, where it is called banco. European architects are just about to discover the aesthetic qualities and potential of this beautiful way of building. Whereas in the monolithic earthen constructions, the earth mix is directly assembled to make a built element, in masonry techniques, the material is transformed into a mix which is first put into a mold to make a small prefabricated element, which dry before being assembled to a wall. The mix may either be plastic and put by hand, or mechanically into a diversity of molds. These bricks are usually called by their Spanish name, adobe, and contain a more or less high content on fiber. In recent times, earth blocks are also produced by the machines that usually prepare the bricks being fired. The mix used for extruded earth bricks has to be adapted for that purpose. Brick can also be made starting from a humid mix, as for rammed earth. The humid earth is pressed into a form with a manual or mechanic machine. These bricks are called CEB. The bricklaying principles are the same for earth bricks than for fired bricks. There are nevertheless construction details, for example connections to wood or the foundations, which it is important to consider because they are crucial for guaranteeing long life to the building. This is true for rammed earth, cob and bricks. Outside renders generally are not necessary to the conservation of earthen walls, they have mostly social and aesthetic functions. Earth brick masonry has a very long history in almost every country on our planet. 
Nevertheless, creative contemporary design with Adobe is just on its very first steps. There are many signs in Europe that show that earth construction has made the shift into the third millennium. A new earthen architecture is being invented in earth construction. Design does not only apply to the built, but to the composition of the material. Earth is easily modified in its composition by adding other soils, sands, fiber, and so on, in order to change grain size, grain size distribution, proportion between clay and the other grains. Thus, earth can be adapted to different use in humid plastic or liquid state. Still, there is a challenge not to abandon the existent. Better, to give a new life. It's about how to awake the sleeping beauty. Earth has thermal and hygroscopic properties that enhance heat exchange and water vapor exchange. Earth has also surface qualities that make it pleasant to human senses. According to the climate, use and maintenance they encounter, earth walls may develop diverse damage, as it is the case with any construction material. The strength of earth as a construction material is directly linked to its weakness. Due to its sensitivity to water, clay makes the construction material reversible and easily recyclable and repairable. A clay mortar or mix, with or without fiber, can most of the time be reused or transformed. Traditional or contemporary, Earth is modern, ecological and beautiful. So, what are we waiting for? What are you as a builder waiting for to use Earth? What are you as a trainer waiting for to teach Earth? In a three-year European project builders and trainers from eight European countries produced a competence standard to learn earth building. The 18 partner organizations discuss step by step the construction process of monolithic and brick walls. They analyze the activities of skilled workers, foremen and site managers on earth building sites. Several transnational meetings were necessary to agree on a common core list of knowledge, skills and competence. In working groups, the partners had to deal with language issues and aimed at a deep understanding of both technical and cultural issues of the construction process. Indoor work sessions were always connected with visits of building and production sites, heritage and training centers. This was a very helpful base for technical discussions. As a result, the consortium partners from Spain, Portugal, UK, France, Germany, Slovakia, Czech Republic and Serbia have built consent, respect and mutual trust. Now we are ready to provide you with instructions and resources for assessment and training in earth building. Units of learning outcomes and criteria for assessing them are free for download. Find out about many more tools the European informal network of earth builders and trainers have developed since 2012. And as a training provider, join our Memorandum of Understanding to deliver certificates for learning outcomes in earth building. Within this framework, we can support mobility of learners and of trainers across Europe and beyond. Bridges to disseminate our tools have already been put toward Algeria, Benin, Argentina, Colombia and so on.